Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 70 of the Aspirations Challenge. Today is a special day in the Fournier household because it is Leo and Diana's wedding day. Um, now I mentioned in the last part that Leo doesn't actually intend on marrying Diana today or any other day. So um, in the last part, Diana aged into an elder, which I totally forgot was going to happen. I kind of let that one slip. Um, she is an elder now, but I did dye her hair brown, and I also smoothed out her skin a little bit. So she may have got like a couple of Botox shots just to look nice for the wedding. Um, so yeah, Diana is, she woke up in a bad mood because um, the holiday they had yesterday, which I think was New Year's Eve, was not fun. Um, or maybe it was something else. Oh, I can't look back at it. Uh, so their wedding is at 2 p.m. today. Leo is, you know, he's in a pretty good mood. Um, he's feeling a little bit sad because he did lose some celebrity level but it happens pretty much all the time. Um, I'm just seeing here what we could do for his next gig. Let's do this one, small mobile game with big dreams. Um, he's literally just sitting here working on his wet, on his wedding day. Um, you would think that he would be a little bit stressed out about how he's gonna get out of doing this, but he honestly isn't. He's just kind of doing his thing. He is sad about not being famous anymore, but he definitely has to get over that. Uh, it happens all the time because he goes like, he gains fame from work, and then he loses it, and that's kind of why I don't like fame, because it's it's too, um, what's the word, fickle, I guess, or fragile. It just seems to just go up and down willy-nilly, and I can't keep up with it, and so I don't find it that much fun. Uh, now, Sydney, what is she going to do today? Sydney's birthday is actually tomorrow, so we're going to have a couple of interesting events um, after, actually, hold on, I want to get... Oh, no. I was going to say, I want to get rid of that stereo, but it's okay, because I'm going to be giving her a room makeover anyway. Um, so Diana is having some pizza. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, she decided to go over here, apparently. Just hanging out with the dogs. Um, let's get Rocco. For some reason, these dogs are not house trained, and I've been working on it for a while, so it's a little frustrating. Uh, Leo, no. You need to go and make mobile app. Oh god, okay good, thank god. Rocco has learned to pee outside. I, for some reason my first instinct was that one of them was dying when that noise happened and I panicked. But it's all good, he just learned to go outside and I'm happy about that. Um, so Diana is going to get ready for the wedding. She's going to clean this plate up and then I'm going to get her to brush her teeth. That's the first thing you do before you get ready for your wedding. Uh, and then put on her wedding dress as well. Um, so she's going to get ready because it is starting in just a couple of hours. Um, meanwhile, he's just working away. Uh, I think we should probably get Sydney ready as well. We're going to change her into her formal outfit. Um, and I'm not really sure what, I, she can just kind of hang out and wait for the wedding to start, I guess. Diana has let her hair down for this event. She's looking good. She's got a very simple wedding dress, which I think really suits her. Um, I think she looks really pretty. And to be honest, I feel really bad for her right now because we already know what's going to happen. Um, she thinks she's getting married today, and she's not. Um, let's go in here. She's gonna go, um, make sure Leo is dressed in his tux, which, of course, he is not. So she is going to argue, argue about music, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Really, what we're arguing about is the fact that he is not nearly ready for the wedding. She thought he would be in his tux by now. Uh, yell at him. I think deep down she would know that he wasn't taking this seriously. Sorry, there's a really loud truck going by right now. Um, that she wasn't taking this seriously enough. And I think she's kind of expecting this. Um, let's do... Shout for bin words, I guess. I think, oh, what the... Oh, no. Are they making puppies? Hold on a minute. Um, I'm a little panicked right now. I think that they just... Oh, good lord. Are you pregnant? No, she's not. But I think they... I think they woohooed or whatever because there was like a weird little sound. I honestly don't know what that was. Um, anyway. <laughs> back to this fight that we're currently having. Um, the wedding is literally in one hour. He is not even close to ready. Um, and so he's gonna have to break it to her that this is just not gonna happen. Um, he's feeling really angry, no win scenario, aggravating conversation. Um, denounce friendship. Uh, provoke, insult her face, um, shove, throw, drink. You know what, I think if anyone's gonna be getting too angry, it's Diana. I think she's the one who's gonna, 
Um, what can we do? Um, I don't know. Argue about career, I guess. Um, so I feel like at this point, Leo has said, like, no, I'm not getting married today. I don't really want to. It's too much pressure, and I don't want this. So she is going to break up with Leo once and for all. Um, she's honestly, like, she's literally put her life on hold for Leo. Um, she thought she would be having more kids with him. She waited forever to finally get engaged, and now she's become an elder, so she can't have kids anymore. And I feel like her life is a bit of a mess, and it's all because Leo made her wait. So... They are going to break up now. Diana Bigelow is breaking up with Leo. Um, so I feel like in a few minutes we're going to get the notification that the wedding is starting. And, um, I mean, that's clearly not happening. Um, so she probably... No, cancel. She probably feels like an idiot right now wearing her wedding dress. She's going to change out of that, put on some casual clothes, and um, get out of here. She, she doesn't want to talk to him. So... She's going to go to the bathroom. Sydney, uh, she just doesn't really know what's going on. She has no idea that her parents just broke up. Don't go in there, please. Oh, my God. She can tell, though, that it did not go well as Deanna comes stomping out of the guest house. I think what we're going to do, he's feeling sad. Uh, broken heart, breakup blues, and then also he's still angry from the conversation that they had. But, I mean, he sort of still got what he wanted. He didn't want to get married, and that's not happening. So... <laughs> You know, that's good. Um, I kind of thought things were going to get bad between those two. Uh, Leo just hasn't been a good boyfriend or dad, really. He's an okay dad, but not great. Oh, that was cute. She just hugged her. I feel like Diana just went and explained to Sydney what was happening. So um, let's get Sydney to... She did her homework, I think. Here, do extra credit work. Um, Diana's just dancing away. She is feeling good for some reason. Um, oh, that, that's over. Uh, here, stop dancing because you look like an idiot right now. Um, I think she's, yep, yeah, she's good to go to work tomorrow. I feel bad for her, though. Like, now what? Um, like, what are her and Leo going to do now? Um, I think what's going to end up happening is Leo will probably totally convert the guest house into his own, um, sort of, like, apartment, I guess you could call it. And Diana and Sydney will stay in this house. I think that's probably what's going to happen. I don't really think there's a chance of these two getting back together. Their relationship has kind of been up and down for a really long time, like since before Sydney was even born. And now she's almost a teen. Um, burn money? God, no. Put the fire out. Well, we can't put the fire out. That's why it keeps going. I keep clicking put out and it doesn't happen. Can we put this one out? I think we can. There we go. Okay. Um, she's gonna go watch a movie. Go watch, um, Sins of the Dead. There you go. Meanwhile, Leo is just working away. Um, yeah, probably off camera I will completely convert this so he can 100% live in the guest house. Um, I think that's just the best way to go. Even though he owns this entire property, this is his house, but I think he would not have a problem just letting them live there. Um, he, I think he still kind of would want Sydney to live in the house and Diana to raise her, so... That is the best situation, I think. Um, let's actually take the dog for... Actually, you know what I kind of want? I kind of want them to have puppies. I think that'd be really cute. Um, I haven't done that in a really long time. Can we, like... How do we make them have puppies? I honestly don't know. Hmm. I don't know how. Um, do you have to be, like, in a better relationship with her? Because their relationship's pretty good. Here, feel the love. Um, pamper on couch. Actually, no, don't pamper on couch. Um, how do I get this to happen? Tell her a story, I guess. I'm going to probably have to look into that. I don't know how to do it. Um, but I would like them to have puppies. I don't know. Maybe one of them is neutered. How do you find out? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Rocco? Oh, maybe she has to have a better relationship with both of them. Let's go talk to him. Lecture him about barking. Get to know him and offer friendship. Because she doesn't really have much of a relationship with Rocco, so that might be it. And I think Diana, um, let's get you to make some food. I feel bad. Like, she's so upset. Um, and, you know, now she's old, so she's probably feeling like she's not going to find anybody. She's definitely not going to get the chance to have another kid. Um, and I don't blame her for sort of blaming, um, like blaming Leo for that. He kind of made her put her life on hold. Offering a friendship again. Why doesn't he want to be our friend? 
I think that worked, but I don't know. Um, no, it didn't. Try again. That is so weird. I don't know why he's, like, unfriendly. I think that worked? Nope. <laughs> I gotta give up, because it's clearly not going to work. Leo, where did you go? Oh, um, no. You live here now, remember? Oh, he broke the computer. Okay, you have to repair it. Uh, Sydney, um, you should probably go to the bathroom, grab some food. There's some spaghetti there. Diana is just eating. I feel bad that she's so sad. I don't want her to be sad. I would like her to maybe find somebody else. I don't know. Maybe she can adopt a child. Like, that's always an option. Um, I'm just going to replace that. And then she can go to sleep. Uh, Leo, he's fixing the computer. He should probably grab some leftovers. Um, I don't want him to eat in the house, though. That's the thing. Um, I'll get him to sit here. Maybe. Okay, so I think what I'll do is get her to just go to bed so Diana can go to sleep. Uh, Sydney, she's already going to bed. Leo is eating some pizza. Oh my god, your house is disgusting. Um, I don't even know. Oh, that was from the computer. Yeah, I forgot that he had fixed the computer. Um, so he's going to have some pizza. He knows better than to go in the house. He's going to spend... The, basically the rest of his life in this guest house um I mean until Diana dies he could probably move back into the house but um let's get you to go to sleep now because he is exhausted he's already like yawning um Sid she went to sleep right go to bed it's her birthday tomorrow which I'm really excited about I'm gonna get her to age up before school I always do I don't know why because I literally cannot wait for them to get home from school I just want to age them up so bad find out what their trait is gonna be uh, we don't have time to fix this. We gotta replace it. Uh, replace it, use it. We can, oh, let's turn off the thermostat because we don't need it to be warm anymore. Um, Stella, please stop barking. We did manage to house train Rocco, but it's Stella is the issue right now. Like, she just always wakes, wakes us up. Oh, what's going on with him? Uncomfortable. He's a stomach bug. Oh, did you eat some bad pizza? I think he did. Here, go back to sleep. Well, you know what? You kind of deserve it. <laughs> You really do. You set up Diana, or stood Diana up on your wedding day. Um, I guess it could have been worse, like she could have been at the altar with all the guests and that would have been way more embarrassing, so I'm kind of glad that didn't happen. Uh, Diana, let's get up, clean up the spoiled food, and make a cake. We'll do chocolate. Uh, okay, so I think that Leo will probably just get up and take a shower. Um, I do want to pull up. Oh, why are you doing the dishes in here? Awkward. Get out. No, get out now. Oh my god. They need to know that, like, things are awkward between them. They need to stay out of each other's space. Um, Sims 4 trait randomizer. Uh, I do want the James Turner one because it's the best one. I think it's actually, the, like, yeah, there we go. I was going to say, it's like, it's the one that I used last, I'm pretty sure. Um, so Sydney, she is just basically waiting for her birthday cake. Let's, um, oh, this hair, I keep forgetting. We need to get like a little, uh, robot vacuum thing because I think that will really help with all the hair. Or we could just remember to brush Rocco. That wouldn't be the worst thing. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to, um, oh, hold on a second. Oh, you can't like pre-enter... Oh, that sucks. Okay, it looks like I have to use the original one because you can't pre-enter a trait. And the good thing about the the older one is that you don't get conflicting traits, and that's what I like. Let's uh, add birthday candles to that. Um, Leo's not going to come because it's just going to be too weird. Okay, so let's... Um, I'm just going to put in her pre-existing trait, which is Insider. She's going to be a teen. Um... Okay, so let's age her up. Whoa. I'm so excited for this. Uh, blow out candles. I love seeing what they look like and like what their personality is going to be like. Why can't you blow out your candles? Reset. There we go. Oh, Diana, you're not even witnessing this. Oh, that's sad. She's missing her daughter's birthday. Okay, so she got Insider and Dance Machine. Um, that's a pretty good one for her, I think. Uh, dance Machine. Uh, so we will give her the... Is this it? Leader of the Pack? Yeah, we'll give her that, that aspiration. I think that's a good one for her. 
Uh, oh, she is a little bit larger. I'm liking it. I love the curvy Sims. Um, her hair, though, is an actual disaster. So we definitely need to fix that. Um, so I think what I'll do is give her a makeover. And while I'm doing that, I'll probably redo her room and the guest room as well. So when we come back, there will be a few changes. Okay, so I have given Sydney her makeover. Um, since she's very social and has a lot of friends and likes to dance and have fun, I thought some of her outfits would be a little more um, fun. She's also a little more fashion forward as well. Um, so this is her face, which we haven't really seen yet. Um, I did give her new hair because it was pretty horrible. I think she is a really pretty sim. Um, I love like her Asian look that she gets from her dad. Um, so this is her first outfit here. Love this like polka dot shirt. I'm really obsessed with it. And these jeans I use a lot. Uh, this is her second outfit here. Uh, did change her makeup a bit for it so it kind of matches. Um, I love that she's a curvy sim so I definitely wanted to dress her accordingly. I love her curves. I think she is just a really pretty sim. Um, so there's this like off the shoulder shirt here with the stripes and like some like Birkenstock looking sandals which I like as well. And then this, oh my god, this is her third outfit. Um, I know the cleavage is a bit much. I'm actually considering like how do I get rid of it? <laughs> it's, I think it's too much, honestly. Um, I think it's in skin details. Where'd it go? That's weird. It's usually there, but for some reason it's gone. What if I don't want these things? Okay, well, we're stuck with them. Uh, it is what it is. That's her third outfit. I really like these colors too. I did give her like a green eyeshadow to match. And then this is her fourth outfit, um, just like this romper, which I really like too. A lot of this is custom content. Uh, and then this is her formal outfit, like just a green dress, um, her athletic wear, her sleep wear, party wear, which I didn't really do anything because I, I never see Sims wear party wear, to be honest. Uh, this is her swim wear, which I love, like this high-waisted, oh, she looks so good. Um, I'm really obsessed with her, actually. Uh, and then this is her hot weather outfit, another romper. This one has watermelons on it, which I think is really cute. And then this is her winter outfit, uh, which is a little more casual because, of course, it does not snow in Strangerville, so it's not that big of a deal to have sort of a more casual winter wear. Um, so I also redid her bedroom and the guest room as well while I had the time to do that. Um, so we're going to say that Sydney's room is just a little bit different, um, not too much, pretty much kept all the major furniture, uh, and just kind of made it more appropriate for a teenager. Um, so that's her bedroom. And Sydney, I think what we're going to do is get her to go to the washroom, take a shower, uh, and then Leo didn't do a whole lot. He has a little space to work with, so this is his, like, living room, kind of. Um, he just got, like, a TV in his bedroom. And I did put in a stove and a sink so he can make his own food. He's got a little table with a chair as well. And that's pretty much it. I didn't do a lot for his, um, oh, let's pay our bills. For his apartment, I guess you could call it. Because he doesn't need a lot. He spends most of his time on the computer. So he doesn't really need a huge space to work with. Um, Sydney, I'm going to get her to grab some leftovers. Why is this on the ground? Did someone give the dog a cho chocolate chip cookie? That's a terrible idea. Where'd she go? Okay. I thought she went to the guest house. Um, they're eating the cake, which is kind of all right because, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we don't need the cake for anything. Let's get you to clean up these dishes. I'm just going to replace the sink. I'm not even going to bother fixing it. Um, so Sydney is eating some spaghetti in her dad's apartment. Um, I think she'd be torn a little bit between, like, which parents she should spend more time with. So she kind of just does both. Let's clean that up. I will give her friends makeovers as well so we can see both of them. I think it's Carla and Shirley. Um, so for her aspiration, I just want to take a quick look at that because I haven't really done this one in a while. Um, so we need to start or join a club and buy a club perk to begin with. So I'm not in a huge rush, rush with Sydney because she only just became a teen. We still have quite a bit of time with her. Um, she has to perform 10 club activities, be in a club gathering for 12 hours, achieve level five charisma, talk about clubs with five club members, earn a thousand club points and lead a club with eight sims. So that's all the things she has to do, um, which I will probably slowly start at some point. Let's get her to do her homework. Um, I don't know if Leo would mind that she's in here. I kind of hope not, but he is still feeling heartbroken, though. Their breakup did not go that well. Um, let's go and help her with her homework. Sydney's taking it pretty well, though. I think that even at a younger age, she would recognize that they weren't really a great couple 
things weren't going that well with them, she would obviously notice that her dad spent more time in the guest house than in the actual house. There we go. I think he should sort of socialize with her a little bit. He, um, needs to have some social... Oh, that... I feel so awkward that, like, her cleavage is so obvious and she's, like, talking to her dad. It's kind of weird, but... Apparently I can't get rid of it. Um, deep conversation... Uh, real deep secret, I guess? I don't know. I'm just trying to get them to socialize a bit. Um, Jasper's calling. I'm, I'm starving. Want to go grab lunch? No, I do not, but thank you. Uh, speaking of starving, he's going to grab some food. And Oh, yes, you should take your dog for a walk. Uh, pet care, go on short walk. I was going to get her to work out, but um, I think it's okay. She, I guess she could jog. Oh, she stepped in the... That's unfortunate. She could jog with Stella, but this is fine. I don't really, like, I don't want her to lose weight. I kind of want her to just, like, maintain, like, her body type as it is. I really love her body type. Like, she's super curvy, uh, a little bit heavier, and I think it's, it works for her. I'm not trying to change her body at all, but also, like, I just want her to be, like, I don't know, maintain this way. And then you, taking out the trap. Oh, he's, he's cleaning that up. Um, you should actually go, you should not be in the house. I really don't think Diana would like that. Don't call. Of course, he was like right there at the trash can when I canceled that. Um, so Sydney's walk is probably going to take a while. It always does. Um, let's get you to come back now. You have to basically control everything about the walk, which I don't really like. I kind of wish that it would just, um, you know, when you say go for a short walk, take me for a short walk. It doesn't need to be an all day thing. Where is she? Oh, she's coming. Okay. Okay. So you can let the dog off the leash and maybe Sydney could learn how to cook. Let's go serve some mac and cheese. Uh, I'll keep an eye on her because she might start a fire. You never know. She probably will actually. <laughs> I kind of expect her to. I didn't get rid of this snowman thing either. I kind of actually like it. I know it's a little weird, but I have just kept it there so far. Uh, and then Diana was going to come home. She was promoted to courageous captain. She could be, she could retire pretty much any time. Um, but I don't really want her to do that because like, I don't want her to be like old and frail and elderly. I know that she is technically an elder, but I don't know, I still want her to just have a job and stuff. Put that away. Um, you can go to the washroom. And then I think what I'll do is get her to chat with her friends. Um, so we've got... Uh, Carla and Shirley are two teens. So let's call Carla and just chat with her. I'm excited to give those two makeovers. I feel like they could definitely use it. Leo... Oh, he's almost... Oh. I was gonna say, he's almost done work. He's not working. He's playing video games. Uh, use that... Clean that, and then get back to work. <laughs> Continue making your mobile app. Uh, then Diana, you should just watch TV. She's starting to feel a little bit better after their breakup. She still has the moodlet though. I don't know when it goes away. Uh, just says broken heart from memory. So she's still thinking about it, I guess. She's just chatting with her friends. I think she would spend a lot of time on her phone. Um, no, put that down. Thank you. Let's turn on some pop music and dance because she is a dance machine. I would like to get her uh, dance skill max. I think it's like a mini skill. You only have to go to level five. So that wouldn't be too hard for her to do. So she's just going to dance in her room. Um, and he is working. Diana, you should just go to bed. Um, she is getting like to the point where she's almost too tired to work. Cause she comes home like so exhausted and she goes to bed to goes to bed early every night. So she might be getting to the point where she's actually too old to keep going to work. But I don't really want that to happen because that means that her and Leo are just like home together. And I find that kind of awkward. What are you doing? Clean up hair pile. Um, okay. Like I was thinking going to bed, but turn off the music. <laughs> Uh, oh, and of course, oh my god, there's so much garbage, and there's a trash pile, pile, or trash pile, trash plant there, and I don't know why. I thought I was getting pretty good at cleaning up that trash, but apparently not, because it's just everywhere. Um, so it's going to be Tuesday morning, Sydney does have school, uh, hopefully Leo can finish his work project as well. Um, the sooner you finish it, the more you get paid, so it's nicer when they finish early. 
What I think I should do is start taking on smaller jobs and then he can finish them early and get bonus, like a bonus for it. I think that would be better. Okay, Sydney is up. Uh, let's get you to go shower. Diana, you can go grab some food for breakfast. Um, so for her job, she has to get to level six charisma. Oh, that's awkward. Leo is in the house. Well, he went on the deck, really. Why are you sitting together? That is so weird. I don't know why they would want that. <sighs> I was hoping when I put a fridge and a sink and a stove and a table, like everything he needs in his apartment, I was hoping he would just stay there. I don't know why I'm calling it an apartment either. It's it's not an apartment. I'm just, for some reason, that's what I'm calling it. Sydney thinks it. They're all just eating out here together, which in a way is nice, but also very awkward. And I feel like Sydney would just feel the tension between her parents for sure. Okay, you're off to school. Please go to school so you can make friends. Stop doing the dishes. Just stop. We could definitely afford to hire a maid as well. I should definitely think about doing that. I'm um, getting sick of cleaning up their plates. I can tell you that. Go to the washroom. And, oh, she works at 10 a.m. today. Yes, go to work. Um, I think what I'll do is just get her to make friends at, uh, or socialize, I guess, at work today. Leo, stop going in there. You don't live here anymore. Should I just lock him out? Because I'm thinking about doing that. Like, he's making it awkward. He just keeps coming in, and he shouldn't be doing that. Here, you take out the trash. I guess I gotta get rid of this thing too. I'm just so lazy, I don't want to. <laughs> if they could just stop throwing trash on the ground, that would help me. Socialize with coworkers. Oh, you're supposed to be making friends. And yeah, he's not that close to completing uh, his job. So what I think I'll do is just leave this episode right here. If you enjoyed this part, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know what you think. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Thanks for watching.